That's right, it's time for another unboxing. In this one, we're opening up this month's Super Six Sack from Six Sense Fishing. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. We got a little rain going on behind the camera right now, so we're out here in the garage. We're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna crack into this month's Super Six Sack from Six Cents Fishing. And I've also got a couple new rods to show you. If you guys watch my Bank Beater Heater series, you might remember the video where I ended up rolling my unicorn rod up in the truck window and breaking the tip off. The camera wasn't rolling when that happened, but I talked about it in one of the Bank Beater Heater series videos and I have since ordered a replacement. It's back there in that tube that you can see over my shoulder. Really quick before we get too deep off into the video, if this is your first time watching or if you have not already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Put out new fishing videos here all the time, unboxings from here in the garage and fishing content from out there on the water aboard my bass boat, Beetlejuice, catching largemouth bass. For the most part, we do catch some other fish every once in a while. Guadalupe bass are a regular appearance here on the channel as well as every once in a while I'll hook into a catfish accidentally and then we even caught the lake record black crappie in a recent video so if you guys are into the fishing content and you want to see more from me stick around sub to the channel splish splash it's taking a bath out there if you're unfamiliar this is the subscriber board we have been slowly but surely coloring in these notches 1,000 subscribers at a time and we are getting incredibly close to being able to color in another bar here on the subscriber board ripping up on 16,000. The ultimate goal of course is to fill in the entire bar and maybe one day obtain that elusive YouTube silver play button but I can't do it without you guys so if you have fun hanging out with me here in this video today consider subscribing and kick those notification bells on so you catch all my future content. Speaking of future content I have a really big announcement something you guys have been asking for over and over and over again for a long time and it's just about ready to drop so if you guys are interested in hearing more about that stick around and stay ready so you don't got to get ready i'm really happy and stoked to announce uh this upcoming thing that uh i know a lot of you guys have been waiting on so that's about all i got for the intro to this video let's go ahead and crack off into the unboxing portion and i think we're going to start with the rods i got two rods i got a replacement for the unicorn and i also got another rod as well we're going to bust off into the tube and take a look at both of those right now show you what I got to replace the unicorn and I'll show you the additional scoop as well so let's grab the tube slice off into that bad boy I'm stoked man stoked shout outs to bird blades bottle butcher from bird blades yeet new rod day it's new rod day all right Sweet. One thing about the Six Sense rods is they always come shipped in these awesome PVC tubes. I've never had a rod arrive damaged from them. Shout outs to Team Six and my man Zach for always taking care of me on the rod shipments. Much appreciated, my dudes. All right, slice off into this bubble wrap and see what we got going on on the inside. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited for these. What's up, Enzo? Are you excited? I got my dog Enzo right here. What's up, buddy? You can't see him, but he's here. He's doing the unboxing with us. He's interested. What's, what do we got, buddy? There he is back there. Now you guys can see him. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this one right here on top. Might be obvious to some of you, to others it might not, but since I broke my unicorn, I went with another unicorn. I had to get the same rod to replace it. 7.3, medium heavy, six cents unicorn. These rods are insanely sensitive. It's their highest end model and man, I was super bummed when I broke that last one. So I had to give me a replacement. Got the tip protected in the foam. Yee! Fresh unicorn coming at you live and direct and full effect right now. Come on, old son. Yes, sir. Got the foam on the tip. Got the plastic on the handle. Got the nice high end rod sleeve that comes with it. this thing out of the wrapper. We'll get the reel that's on the broken unicorn mounted up on this bad boy. We'll be back in action, just like we, just as we were before. All right, so here's the broken, whoa, whoa, splish splash. All right, so here's the broken unicorn right here, same rod, 7.3, medium heavy. We're gonna do a dismount with the Shimano Corrado DC, get it transferred over to the new non-broken unicorn really quick. Let's go ahead and do that. Last time I was fishing with this, I was throwing around this little, looks like watermelon red, clout 5.4. Tungsten bullet weight, 
doing a little TR action, but we need to uh, go ahead and clip that off. There goes somebody firing up their, oh, oh, there goes the rod tip down there. I need to save that. Firing up their vehicle. Never fails, man. As soon as I turn the camera on, people are like, ah, let's fire up the chainsaw, the wood chipper, all the diesel trucks and tractors in the immediate vicinity. Yeah, it's just the way she goes, boys. Pardon the background noise. I'm cool with the rain, but as soon as the tractors and freaking chainsaws start kicking off, and weed eaters and wood chippers, I'm like, dang it, come on, man, give me some, give me some silencio, give me some silence over here so I can shoot this video. But anyways, I'll be right back. Wanted to secure that rod tip over there just in case I wanted to do a repair on the old broken unicorn eventually. So I think what I'll do is grab a little piece of tape and I'm just gonna tape the rod tip to the rest of the rod there, like so, so I don't lose it. Set this off to the side and Maybe repair it one day. I don't know, I've never repaired a rod before, but I'm pretty sure that that's a thing and that I could probably fix the tip on this rod and continue to use it. But for right now, I got the new heater on the block and we're gonna use that one. You guys, make sure you stay tuned for the Six Sense Super Six Sack unboxing coming at you as soon as I get these rods rigged up. Don't click off. We're gonna do it right here in this video. I just wanted to include this little rod unboxing as well double whammy i know how you guys like the unboxing content and i didn't think it would make for such a good video to just open two rods by themselves so we're combining the rod unboxing with the super six sack unboxing and we're going to do both right here in this video let's get this corrado mounted up on the new unicorn this piece right here this little guy this little guy it's probably my favorite part of the rod it looks cool man it reminds me of a crown j royal in the building put a crown on it shout out to ritz Awesome, there that is, mounted up, good to go. Unicorn, 40 ton Japanese graphite, NanoSense, Nano Graphene Matrix Technology, six cents fishing rods, yeet. If you guys are interested in scooping up any of these rods, I'm just gonna remind you now that you can use my code JR10 to save 10% off everything on sixcentsfishing.com, including these rods. So if you scoop up a unicorn, that's gonna be a good little chunk of savings with that 10% off. JR10 for the win, you know the deal. Let's finish getting this thing rigged, gigged and rigged. Yee, I'm excited, dude. This has got me in a good mood, even though there's a bunch of tractors and stuff making noise in the background. Psh, we're not even gonna let it ruin our good time over here in this video. Just gonna be careful not to break one of these new rods because that would ruin my good time. <laughs> All right, we got the old reel on the new rod. Now we just gotta figure out what bait we wanna throw on this bad boy. And to be honest with you, I'm not really sure what bait I wanna tie onto here. Okay, so I actually stood here for a while looking at the tackle wall trying to figure out what bait I wanted to tie onto the new rod and I think I've come to my conclusion. I think I landed on the jackhammer. Let's try a bladed jig on this setup. 7.3 medium heavy fast action. Some people like a more moderate action rod for throwing the chatter baits. Me, I actually like throwing it on both. Sometimes I'll throw it on a moderate action rod, but I've done really well with the fast action rods throwing a jackhammer in the past. So I think that's what I'm gonna do here. This is the expensive one. Evergreen custom bladed jig, jackhammer, Brett height, Morizo, Z-Man chatterbait. Made with gamakatsu hooks, 3 8 ounce, green pumpkin shad color. It's been on the tackle wall for a long time and I'm gonna finally use it. There's a look at that bad boy. I think that'll be a killer color for my clear water that I'm usually fishing. Combination of green pumpkin, shad style, I'm into it. For my trailer, on my jackhammer, when I'm throwing the jackhammer, the thing imparts such a unique vibration. It's got that really hard thumping vibration to it. So I like to throw a fluke. I'm gonna use one of these soft jerk baits that was sent to me by Tech Baits, fluke style bait for my trailer on this jackhammer. They're salty. A lot of different trailers out there that you could use for a chatterbait. I've done really well in the past throwing a fluke on the back. It just looks like a little tiny school of bait fish. And uh, yeah, I love throwing a fluke on the back of a chatterbait. Right there looks pretty good to me. Woo, jiggly wiggly. Man, there's a lot of salt on those baits. Tie this jackhammer on and get moving right along. Show you guys the other rod that I got. Boom, there we go. We got the new unicorn rigged up with our jackhammer chatterbait. Tech baits fluke on the back as the trailer. 7.3 medium heavy 15 pound Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon spooled onto our Corrado DC 7.4 to 1 gear ratio reel in that. Careful, careful, careful. Is setup number one for the video. Unicorn replaced, good to go. Let's get into the second rod now. Throw that six cents rod sleeve on that bad boy. You know the deal, best rod sleeves in the game. There we go, now we're protected. Sweet. 
All right, now I'm gonna get off into rod number two. Second rod that I picked up. This is gonna be a duplicate. This right here is probably my favorite series from the six. You guys can probably already see what it is right there. This is that one. This is that one. I think it's my favorite rod that I own. This rod was specifically designed for throwing the Define swim jig. That's right. The Sensory Series 7.3 Heavy Action Rod. I have another one of these in the boat. I wanted to get me another one because I just love throwing it so much. I have a rod sitting over here with a reel on it that I'm currently not throwing. It's my frogging rod, so I'm gonna take that reel off of that rod and put it onto the 7.3 Heavy Sensory Series, my dedicated swim jig rod. I'm stoked to add another one of these to the lineup. Let's get it rigged up. Shout out to Tech Baits for sending me these flukes. So here I have a seven foot, five inch, extra heavy Lux series, my broomstick frogging rod for when I need something extra heavy. I'm not using this a lot right now, so I'm gonna pull this SLX DC off of here, put it on the new sensory series. This is a 7.2 to one gear ratio Shimano SLX DC, spooled up once again with 15 pound Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon. Sunline Assassin is the fluorocarbon that I tend to use over here, my favorite fluorocarbon line at the moment always subject to change. Abrasion resistant, does really well for me out here with all the zebra mussels that are around. So Sunline Assassin is what I throw. You guys ask me all the time, what kind of line are you throwing? 15 pound Sunline Assassin for practically everything from Texas rigging, swim jigging. Then if I'm cranking, sometimes I'll bump down to 12 pounds. So 15 or 12 pound Sunline Assassin, fluorocarbon is the fishing line that I prefer to use unless I'm throwing braid. Throw straight braid on all my top water. Sometimes I'll throw braid to leader, but for the most part, 15 pound Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon. I'm gonna set this frogging rod to the side. We'll get the reel mounted up onto the new Sensory Series 7.3 Heavy, and then we'll tie squim jig onto that bad boy, and then we'll get right on into the, dang, will you guys be quiet? And then we'll get right on into the Super Six Sack unboxing, which I know that's what you guys are here really to see. You wanna see what's in this month's sack, and I'm gonna show you really quick, so stay tuned. I'll skip ahead so you guys don't have to see the same thing again. I'm just gonna mount this up, thread it through the line guides, and then tie on a swim jig. All right, for this particular swim jig setup, I'm gonna be tying on a 3 8 ounce Pro Green Devon swim jig, the best swim jig in the game, and I'm gonna be using a Kitek Fat Swing Impact 3.8 inch Sexy Shad trailer. This is one of my all-time favorite bait combinations right here. This is the combo that caught me my nine pound, eight ounce, personal best largemouth bass. That video also here on the channel if you guys are interested in seeing me catch the PB. It was a monstro. So I'm gonna tie this on to the new setup right now. The Squim Jig. The Divine Swim Jig is hands down my favorite swim jig on the market. I've used a lot of them. Aside from the fact that it caught me my PB, the design is awesome on them. They swim great. And they have that screw lock bait keeping system on there. Keeps your trailer snug, secure, and it saves you money by helping you not go through so many trailers. Love the Devon smoke. Speaking of PBs, my personal best crappie, which also happens to be a lake record that I recently caught. If you guys haven't seen the last video, go check it out. It was also caught on a Devon swim jig. Even the crappie will tear this thing up. Let's get the trailer on there. There's a look at that fat swing impact, 3.8 inch sexy shad. One thing I absolutely love about the Kitex is the scent that comes on them. It reminds me of something from my childhood, some bait scent from way back in the day, and it just smells really good to me. Gross to most people, amazing to me. I'm just going to thread that paddle tail right onto the hook, come out about three quarters of the way, press it down to the screw lock keeper. You guys can see the screw lock system right there. Now I'm just gonna start threading the bait onto the screw lock. Push the tail around the bend of the hook, twist the nose, repeat. You guys see what's going on there? Boom. Couple more times. Push the tail around the bend of the hook. Twist the nose. One more time around. One more time around. And there you go. Your trailer is screwed all the way on. It's not going anywhere. That'll last for multiple fish, repeated catches over and over with the screw lock system. Last thing you wanna do, pull the band off of that skirt. She's ready to rip. One thing you can do, the weed guard's pretty soft on here. My hookup ratio is great with the swim jig, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim that weed guard just a little bit. I'm fishing a lot of uh, rocks and open water with the swim jig, so. I'm gonna shorten that down just a little bit. That looks good to me. Boom, money. That right there is my PB getter. Super confidence bait. I love throwing this combo right here. So I had to tie it on to the new sensory swim jig setup. Now we got two. Now we got two. All right, there that is guys. Let's throw a rod sleeve on this rod and get into the Super Six Sack October 2020 unboxing. Let's go. Dang, tractor's making all kinds of noise. Sorry for the background noise, dudes. My apologies. As soon as I came out here and set up the camera to start recording, 
and they fire up the bobcat, start moving boulders for whatever reason. Crazy. So there we go. Two new rods added to the arsenal, set up with new baits. We've got the jackhammer and the squim jig. Good to go. Unicorn sensory series. Boom, I'm gonna mention it one more time if you guys are interested in scooping up either one of those rods for yourself. SixthSenseFishing.com, JR10 at checkout. JR10 for the win, 10% off everything on the website. Now, let's crack off into this box. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about another code that applies to the box. A lot of times I get messages from you guys saying, hey, I went to use your code and it didn't work. And I'm like, what were you trying to buy? What code did you use? And you're like, I'm trying to buy the Super 6 Sack. I put in JR10. It says code invalid. The code for the Super 6 Sack is JR10 Super 6. I'll put it on screen right now. Make it really easy for you guys. JR10 for the rods, the baits, the shirts, and the apparel. JR10 Super 6 for the Super 6 Sack. Hope that clears that up. I know it gets a little bit confusing, but you got to use a different code for the sack and that code is JR10 Super 6, that's gonna give you $10 off your first sack. If you get the standard sack, it's gonna give you like the first sack for like 12 bucks. Tough to beat. This right here is the premium edition. We're gonna be taking a look at the premium Super 6 sack. If you use that code JR10 Super 6, you're gonna get that premium sack for like $26.99. Killer deal, it's a 50 plus dollar value in each sack if you go with the premium edition. So yeah, not a bad deal. Let's get off into it. Slice and dice. Okay, so camera battery died as soon as we did the slice and dice but luckily I haven't got off into the box yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Official, like a referee with a whistle. Things looking a little different this month. It looks like this month, yeah, that's different. That's new. Six Sense just recently dropped the new bait bags. You guys may have seen those in a recent video from me. And it looks like this month, you get one of the new bait bags with the Super Six Sack. Let's check it out, man. Oh, whoa, no way. Dude, this looks freaking stacked. Awesome. Got the small bait bag clear see-through nylon reinforced zipper durable not going to tear up on you out there on the water to see everything that you got going on you guys can already see what's in here it looks like a bag full of heaters to me the sack is always chock full of the goodies let's pull this out first what do we got 3.8 inch platinum white divine paddle tail swim baits i love the divines i go back and forth in between the kitex and these depending on the situation if I want a faster kick, I'll go with the Devons, and if I want a wider, slow paddle, I'll go with the Kitex. I also love the Devon swim baits for chatterbait trailers. Really fast kick, they work really great behind a chatterbait with all that vibration. 3.8 inch platinum white Devon swim baits. First out of the sack this month. Cool. Let's see what else we got. Soft plastics, dark melon red Devon shaky worms. 6.3 inch. Awesome for throwing on a shaky head or a Texas rig. I love the Devon shaky worms. Sweet, coming at you live and direct in full effect in this month's Super 6 Sack. Dark Melon Red, it's an awesome color. Tough to beat the Divine Shaky Worm, especially in the summertime. What else we got in here? Check that out. Boom, that's a heater. Bold Crawfish Quake 70. Listen to the rattles on that thing. Awesome, awesome. Springtime or fall time bait right there. The camera does not do that color justice. I mean, that is loud, vibrant neon orange. It looks more yellow on the camera than it actually is. I mean, it is vibrant neon. There's the sound of the rattles. Awesome. Quake 70. Another lipless crank added to the collection. In this month's sack, they also sent out a suspending Quake 80. Check this thing out, man. This is the suspending version. 80 millimeters, 7 eighths of an ounce. Chrome thread fin is the color. This is the larger size, the Quake 80. That is awesome. Heck yeah, dude. Don't have one of those yet. Little lower end knockers and rattles in there. Boom, more natural shad color and do really well in the fall time. Sweet, oh, it's also a little see-through, a little translucent body on there, just now noticed. You can see all the internals there going on. That'll do really well out here on my body of water for sure. That's the suspending Quake 80 and chrome thread fin. Quake 80, coming at you live and direct in full effect in this month's Super 6 Sack. Heaters only in the Super 6 Sack, you know the deal. Turn that last one over, save the best for last. I'm really liking that last bait in there, but we also got a 3 8 ounce Devon Swim Jig. I already told you guys what I think about the Devon Swim Jig. This is the Shad Ice Color, really good fall time color right there for when the fish are feeding up on Shad. That's gonna do really well. 3 8 ounce Devon Swim Jig. That Devon smoke. I love this bait. All right, and last but certainly not least this month, the Cloud 9 Mini Mag. Check that thing out, man. You guys know I love throwing the reds in the fall time. 
This is the SB 3.8 Cloud9 Mini Mag. It's a magnum size square bill crankbait. And this is the craw bomb color. Let's crack it open and take a look. That is awesome. That is sick. Translucent body, red with gold speckles, black accents, orange belly, magnum size square bill. You can see the size of it compared to the palm of my hand. Really awesome dark red color. I love throwing the reds in the fall time, man. It's often an overlooked color because people are always throwing shad patterns, but I dominate on a red square bill in the fall time, so this is perfect. And this particular square bill is the silent version. I just now noticed no knockers in there, quiet. Don't overlook a silent crankbait. A lot of times when everybody's throwing the rattles, making a lot of noise, I've done really well in the past by picking up a silent one and taking down that volume level. Boom, a lot of times the visual attraction is all they need. This thing banging around, clicking and clacking down there on the bottom in the rocks, and they'll just smoke it, dude. Awesome. There's one more look at that Cloud9 SB 3.8 Mini Mag. And that wraps up this month's Super Six Sack Premium Edition unboxing. We want to mention one more time that this month's baits are coming conveniently stacked and packed in one of the brand new Six Cents bait bags. You can see them all tucked away in there. Nice and neat, high quality premium durable storage available for all your baits if you're just beating the banks or if you need to make room in the boat keep things organized i got my boat loaded down with a bunch of these sacks and and that was a great way to send out this month's baits it's a nice touch shout out to the guys over at the six shout out to my homie zach if you're watching thank you for taking care of me on the rods on the baits as always those dudes work extremely hard over there at the warehouse and they always do a great job of getting me all my stuff shipped out safely securely and super fast one more time if you guys are interested in signing up for the Super Six Sack, the best monthly bait subscription service in the game, JR10 Super Six, $10 off that first sack. Also, JR10 at checkout for 10% off everything else on the website if you're in the market for some swim jigs, some square bills, or maybe a couple rods. Check them out, man, sixcentsfishing.com. They're big supporters of what we do over here on the channel. And as always, a big old fat thank you goes out to Team Six. If you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today, please consider subscribing to the channel. Put out new fishing videos here all the time, so kick those notification bells on you'll catch all my future content i'll be back very soon with another fishing video but that's about all i got for you today man that about does it that about wraps her on up so i'm gonna say goodbye for now and i'll see you in the next one